Yeah. We picked it apart. <laughs> we were like the last people out of the show. <laughs> out of the show. But um, yes, the squares. I couldn't really see the squares the first night because we were so close to the stage, but I knew that when the young boy drew the square, that meant something. And then when the other, when the male tribune drew the square, that also meant oh. something. But I didn't really... It's more than just a set piece. Yeah, it's more than just a design on the floor. It was steps to his innocence, doom. setting him on the path. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Like when he was a kid, he just path. wanted to be noble like his father and have all sorts of war deeds. Like, just be, I'm not saying it right, you said it better. Repeat. Repeat, repeat, what did I say? Um, <laughs> oh, the, 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 child, the childhood innocence, his, his son painting the red line, the childhood innocence, the childhood that set him on the path to becoming a warrior that mm -hmm. created this sense of, uh, this personal honor code within him <clears throat> that is his greatest tool is, and is his, his greatest strength and his because of it, his, yeah, people can his turn it into weakness, weakness by using it against him and, and that the end It didn't, the, old, the, 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 the tragedy of it was that if people had listened he and said understood what times. they were doing, he did not have to become trapped like that. In that, it was, in that box. He didn't have to become trapped in that box. Because <laughs> people, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. He, he, he did not have to become trapped in there. It was a combination of the character flaws in the people around him that he trusted, as that well as the ones that, that he, he didn't, didn't trust. That drew the boxes around him and made it impossible for him yeah, to Yeah, that escape. eventually made it impossible to escape, even though, in a way, he sort of did, but that's in one of the separate yeah, threads as opposed to the whole, which is what, which is what we were looking at. That digesting that first performance mm -hmm. and and what's what struck me at the end of that at, at the end what I immediately took away from it after having conversations like this mm -hmm. was that his 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 honor and his inability not to say what's on his mind is the one thing everybody should have been able to count on to predict exactly what he should, what he was going to do. Because that's what he's always done. Yes, because that's what he's always done. And they refuse to see it because of their issues that were issues. Because of their flaws. Issues. Because their flaws or that were, that were blinding them at that time. They yeah. didn't they didn't want to they didn't want, they didn't want to, to acknowledge, acknowledge it, it because they were so in love with the idea of, of what he was to them. Yes. He had all sorts of different expectations from all sorts of different people on him and he could only be himself, which is what he has always been. And, and just one by one, they put him in situations that where he was forced to let them down. Yes, and that's where the squares come in. One by one, um, fix. Oh uh, no, the squares. Fix thy footing. Fix thy footing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, in a in a way, that red square, that red square, is, is the honest one. Yes, it's. The red square is the one that, it's so bright that you know that it's there. The black one you can lose track of. Yeah, it was more subtle, it was used in a more subtle fashion. Yes. Oh, subtlety of the black <laughs> square. Oh, people stepping in and out of that black square from the vantage point of the second performance was just, it blew my mind. Each time one of the characters 
said a line that trapped him. They were standing in that box. Oh God. Each time a new expectation was put on him, they were standing in that box. And each time they realized they had made a mistake, they, they were standing, standing in that, that box. gets me is the guy whose name I cannot pronounce, Menenius. Mene you you pronounced it! That's the first time you've pronounced his name right! That's the first time you've pronounced his right name right. Menenius. Awesome. When he is standing in that box and he is reading the, the note that... I can't say his name. Kai is <laughs> <Marcus. laughs> let's, let's just call him Corlanius. Corlanius. The Coriolan. Cor <laughs> off on me. Now I'm not going to be able to pronounce anybody's names. I'm sorry. I, I think it's worth it to note at this point that um, uh, theoretically, according to my watch, which is uh, set to London time, uh, this is Saturday the Wednesday the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th? Yes. Yeah, this is, this Saturday, is Saturday the 18th, 18th and uh, we should be about halfway through the second act of the second Saturday performance. <coughs> Uh, the mm -hmm. evening show on, yeah, so that, that show's going on right now, my watch uh, should be about 9.34 over there. Mm -hmm. Got about 15, 20 minutes left in the show. <laughs> That's, okay. <laughs> no, That's okay. But when he's reading that note that Coriolanus <laughs> has given him and he, realize, he realizes exactly what he's done. And he knows before he leaves to go talk to him that he's not going to be able to speak to him, but he will go anyway. And he realizes when he goes anyway exactly what he has done. And he walks yeah. out of the box and drops the page, and it's just... But for Menenius' character, he walks through the box a lot. He doesn't mm. usually stand in the box, while other characters tend to stand in the box when they sing something. So his character is more subtly putting Coriolanus in this kind of box than all the rest of the characters, which, in retrospect to the rest of the play, is very subtle. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to make a music video with those squares. Uh, I want to yes. make a music video with the squares. I want the, to use them. And... Oh, I just died in your arms tonight. It must have been something you said. I should have walked away. I should have walked away. Spinning square. People walking through this. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god, I can, I can make, oh, I want the national live broadcast footage of this show when it, when it comes out. When so it comes out. I don't know if it's even possible to get a hold of it, but we if I manage to get a digital cop. We can set up, excuse me. <laughs> you can bring that to a movie theater and be illegal. <laughs> so, no, I, I, I couldn't do that. I, my no. personal honorable moral code would not allow me to do that, plus the whole, you know, it would be like... And like all the old people in the audience would be like... <laughs> because that's what, what, it, what it was like the last time I went to see one of the... There was like... And they were like, You don't have white hair. What are you doing? And I'm like... <laughs> Just... Grrr! <laughs> but that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs>